In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a calculated field in a pivot table. I've got a sample pivot table that I will use in this demonstration that shows the sales and expenses of a number of store locations of a fictional business in different countries. I would like to show profit for each store location. I could enter a formula in column D. The formula in this case would be equals cell B4 minus cell C4. And then I could copy it to the remaining rows. However, if I start manipulating the pivot table, the formula ceases to work properly. I end up with a number of $0 value results that don't correspond to any data. This is where a calculated field can save the day. I'll delete the formula I created. Now, I'll make sure I'm in the Pivot Table Analyze tab. I'll look for the Fields, Items and Sets command. I will select Calculated Field. The name Field is the name we want for our new field. I will enter Profit as the name. Next, is the formula. It currently shows equals and a zero. I'm going to change the formula to calculate profit for each store location. I'll delete the zero. In the fields area is a list of all of the pivot table fields that I can use to create a formula. Our formula for profit will be sales minus expenses. I'll highlight sales and then click the insert field button. Sales now appears in the formula field. I will now add a minus sign. Next, I'll highlight expenses and once again click the insert field button. The formula field now shows the proper formula. I'll click OK. We can now see the profit field not only calculates the proper profit for each store location, but it also doesn't have any issues when I expand and collapse the countries like it did before. And that's how to create a calculated field in a pivot table. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe as it really helps my channel. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.